Heart surgery often means a blood transfusion, but after large studies link transfusions to a higher risk of heart attacks and death, a growing list of hospitals is changing their procedures to dramatically reduce the use of stored blood. Virginia Commonwealth University anesthesiologist Bruce Spies has led the effort, but he says even the medical community has trouble accepting that blood may carry more risks than previously thought. We've never taken it to the rigorous tests that every, that every other medical uh, therapeutic has to be put to. And so <clears throat> it's just largely been a belief system, um, almost a religion if you will, that if you give a unit of blood, patients will get better. Now researchers at Duke University have figured out why banked blood might not do what it's supposed to do, carry oxygen to tissues. Jonathan Stamler and his team show that while stored blood has just as much oxygen as fresh blood, it quickly loses another gas, nitric oxide, which expands blood vessels. Lab tests showed that banked blood didn't just fail to open blood vessels, it closed them. It sucks up the nitric oxide from the tissues and, and leads to blood vessel constriction. And, and constriction of blood vessels means decreases in blood flow, absent blood flow, which may be the cause of the heart attack. As they wrote in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, they developed a simple way to add nitric oxide back to stored blood. Tests in animals indicate it works. When the blood is infused into animals, those animals um, then get oxygen properly. Stamler hopes offering a solution will improve the safety of blood, what he calls a national treasure. I'm Brad Closa.